What's up, friends? Welcome to Things We Dig. It's Alex. Hey, hey, Chris Fig here. What's up, guys? I'm Steve. Good evening. It's Dave. What's up, everybody? It's the other Chris. All right. Good to see you. Good to hear your voices, gentlemen. We're going to jump into it. We're going to be talking about 2023. What's up? Yeah. It's crazy then, to even hear that, man. <laughs> I wild. know. Fucking right. But uh, yeah, super stoked. I know there's a lot of talk about. I think a good topic for us to jump in is maybe what's a movie or something that we're really excited to see coming out this year. And I'm going to throw it to Mr. Figueroa. Oh, I'll uh, take that shovel for you, my friend. So the movie I'm most looking forward to in 2023 is Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse, man. The sequel to the the first one came out, I believe, in 2017, 2018. Uh, the story revolves around Miles Morales, who is the, the next Spider-Man or another Spider-Man who encounters the, the multiverse and a bunch of different Spider-Mans come from wherever they're from, different types, different styles. The first one uh, produced by Sony was amazing, man. Just completely blew me away. And the second one looks like it's going to be picked up right for the first one left off. A lot of the same characters and also seems like a shit ton more yeah. of Spider-Man. So, yes, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. You guys excited for this one? Did you guys like the first one? Yeah, you, man, you guys- I'm a... Uh really excited for this one like the first one is not just like a kids movie it's a really good story just for anybody so i was like you blown away when i saw it didn't really have high expectations and uh, i'm really excited for this one to see all these crazy new spider-man that they're going to bring into it best spider-man movie uh disney's put out no i'm just kidding is this sony or is it disney yeah i believe so (laughs) Uh, i think it's sony 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 yeah no sorry same here um zero expectations I know that a, a few of you guys had watched it before me. I think even Fig had recommended it at one point or another. I just threw it on one night and watched it, dude. Such a good movie, man. Great story. It is animated, so you'd think maybe it's more geared towards kids, but it totally seemed like right up, you know, for all ages type of a movie right up that alley. So definitely was uh, enjoying that one, man, and look forward to seeing what they're going to do in this next one because the first one was pretty crazy. Yeah, I would say the the music too from the first one was really well done. Fit the fit what it, like the style and the tone of it, and just like a comic book, straight up leafed off of the panels. You know, you have the the noises, you know, or the smacks or little things like that. And it seems like the second one is going to be quite the same. So can't wait for that one to come out. But uh, I'll pass the shovel on to you, Mister Fair Christopher. What are you looking forward to, man, for twenty twenty three? Ooh, I know most of you guys have some movies lined up for your list, but for me, I'm looking forward to the Ahsoka Star Wars series on Disney+. Uh, Thankfully, Star Wars Burnout has not hit me like Marvel Burnout has, so I'm still hyped for all these projects. And I've been wondering since the end of the Rebel series what happened to Ezra Bridger. Seems like we might find out through the Ahsoka series, so I can't wait for that, man. I'm very excited. This is also animated? Uh, no, this is going to be live action starring Rosario Dawson picking up yeah. her role there from yeah. her cameo in The Mandalorian. Oh, nice. Yeah. I feel so that... cameo. In... Sorry. Go ahead, Al. My bad. No, I was just going to say, I, I I heard that there's a potential of this story that it's going to cross timelines. It's not going to be all about the 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 present, that it will show cutscenes. I don't know how that's going to work because will they bring back Hayden? Will they have any, you know? who will play all these other people. I almost feel like they got to have flashbacks or something with Hayden Christensen in it. Mm-hmm. Hopefully. Cause I mean, he was a huge part of her life, but either way, I think I'm really stoked a hundred percent for that. Do you know when it, when it's coming out in the, uh, I believe it's just 2023 right now. I don't know if they have a date, forgive me if I'm wrong, but I'm also really excited that they're supposed to explore what's called like, new space they're calling it in star wars like a completely unexplored area of space with new planets and stuff oh, yeah. it'll be cool to see not stuff on tatooine you know what i mean so that's probably where yeah. maybe where ezra is then right Cause didn't he get just like zapped through like a, a wormhole or something yeah him and grand emerald thrawn basically got thrown through time and space and we really don't know where they ended up some uh, space whales sent them flying so shit 
Nice. Yeah, man. Just- yeah. Totally just so excited for this one. One of, as you said, a little bit on the Star Wars kind of uh burnout a little bit. Andor was a uh, pretty pleasing, but yeah, Ahsoka man, one of my favorite characters from the animated series that the Disney produced. And yeah, even in Mandalorian, she says, you know, Thrawn's name, like looking for him. So really excited. And as you guys are saying, flashbacks with Hayden as Anakin and her being a Padawan. I'm sure they'll have to find a younger actress if they do something like that. Or Force Ghost would be cool as well. So definitely looking forward to this one. The actress from uh, Barbarian kind of looks like a young Rosario Dawson. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. That would work. And then I, I this might be a rumor. So <laughs> if you guys are viewing and, hey. you know, this is not true information, but... um. I, I'm her name's escaping me right now. She played in Scott Pilgrim and and Cloverfield Lane. Uh, Mary uh, Elizabeth Winstead, I believe, is said to be uh, coming as Harrison Dula from the Rebel series too, as well. Oh fuck yeah! Damn, I don't know. If, super cool. I don't know if that's a rumor, but yeah, should be good. Seeing more of the ghost in live action would be really cool. That is the uh, the ship that she flies. Yeah, that'd be so cool. Just that white light, oh, double white lightsabers, right? Fuck yeah. Dude, I'm looking forward to seeing... There's so many movies. I hadn't really seen too many personally, but just looking at a, a list. Um, Mad Max, The Wasteland. The first one was so sick with Fury uh, Road. And so I'm just really looking forward to see where the story is going to go next. I have no idea what it's about, but just in the last movie, they uh, he was captured and was essentially like a slave, it seemed like, to these crazy mutant people and uh he went on the run with the the main guy's wives yeah furiosa and uh she was like a general of i i don't even remember what was his name now dude i'm doing a terrible job describing this but anyways the first movie all in all was pretty badass and just intense from the very beginning to the very end and I'm looking forward to seeing it all over again with a new storyline, dude. So that, Fuck and then yeah. also the Meg two is coming out for all you super fans out there. Oh, we're doubling up now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that second part is a joke. At least I'd hope so. The Meg two. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I was going to be called Furiosa for some reason, but yeah, I didn't even I... were doing a sequel to be honest. So that is pretty exciting news. Yeah, I knew they were doing a sequel, but I also thought it was going to be starring like Charlize Theron as, as Furiosa in some form. I wonder if Tom Hardy will be back at all. I they're calling so. it Mad Max. Yeah, that'd be. Um, I'd be curious if they leave off from when it ended or some prequel type shit. Great movie. <clears throat> all right, and saving the best for last, the movie I'm most looking forward to is like a one of the biggest movies in scope, figuratively and uh, literally being shot by the master Hoyda Van Hoytema. I'm talking about Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. Mm, very cool. Which is basically going to be, you know, his uh, Oppenheimer leading the group of scientists to develop the atomic bomb, basically. Which I'm also curious to see how that plays out because, like, Christopher Nolan usually does his original stories, right? So this one kind of taking on true material. So i you know, wondering if that's going to be up his wheelhouse or what. Steven, I know you saw Avatar, man, and that trailer on IMAX. And uh, I don't think the trailer was in 3D or real D no, or whatever. Yeah. But, uh, dude, it was intense, man. Very good. I'm, it made me super stoked for this movie. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how he does this film because his other films are super, like, you know, action oriented, action packed, a lot of it. And this film having, you know, an atomic bomb, I'm sure will have action too. But I think it'll be more story driven than some of his other stuff. So I'm really excited to see that aspect of it because he's like probably my favorite modern director for sure. Starring uh, Killian Murphy too, right? He's he's playing Oppenheimer. Yeah, dude. Yeah, it's gonna be good. Killian Murphy is such a terrific actor, and just the story in general. And and any Christopher Nolan's one of those directors where he doesn't like put out a ton of movies like all the time. So whenever he has a movie out, it's like worth going to see and just to wait for it so really looking forward to, to seeing oppenheimer there's a lot of other big name actors in it too i want to say like robert downey jr right Florence yeah that's Pugh. right uh, yeah they even I'm just kidding. in the trailer they he did such a good job of just making it seem so heavy man it's like oh for sure it's, it's 
going to be intense. It's almost like a, a, a thriller. Like, you know, it happens, but in that moment, they didn't realize when they were talking about li- uh, setting off a nuclear bomb that it could like ignite the atmosphere or something. So it's just very, oh my God. Yeah. but the fact that they said that Christopher Nolan didn't use CGI for the atomic bomb blast in this movie, that alone makes me want to see it because I'm like, how, how did you recreate an, 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 an atomic bomb blast without CGI? Dude, just like when he bought the 747, a real one yeah. for Tenet, he went to the government, got a real atomic bomb, dude. There you, <laughs> there you go. Down some uh, like open water, like non-government land and just like, all right, let's set that bitch Stop off. Then, dude. Yeah. Just off the coast of like Tijuana, pay some people off. Like, hey, man, yeah. crazy firework. Oh, for sure. When does that I'll, come out? I'll push this button. It goes bang. Uh, I believe that movie is July 21st or 23. Okay. Not too far off. But yeah, it was could... crazy, like you were saying too, Al, when he was like asking him that question, like, what's the worst that could happen? And he was like, we could ruin the entire world. Yeah. And he's like, let's do it. Like the, you know, like the people were so yeah, willing to exactly. just risk like it Like you know the outcome, but you're just like, damn, dude. Yeah, I'm sure it? a lot of it's going to be like him dealing with that guilt afterwards. Oh, yeah. Oh, completely. Fuck, yeah. Well, best for last, I guess. Um a lot of good choices, but I've been very much looking forward to part two of Dune. Aquaman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> By Dennis Villeneuve. Um, I'm saying that right. But yeah, Dune part two. Uh, I read the book. I don't know if any of y'all read the book. I want to say Chris read the book. Yes, sir. Yeah. And it is uh, fucking great. I think it ended perfectly halfway into the book, maybe a little, a little earlier. So reading the book, you know that the second part is going to be fire, fam. It's going to be crazy. So all in all, I think the the scoring, the music, the visuals was just next level. And I think they kind of had to set, set the standard because the last Dune was really poorly received. I haven't even seen it. But you really, haven't? Yeah. I haven't seen it either, dude. Yeah. <laughs> um, wait, wait. You're no, looking forward to the second <laughs> one? And I think he's talking first? about like that the makes 90s. It look so bad. Oh, I'm, I'm talking, yeah. the original, I'm talking about dude. the original, oh, guys. <laughs> okay. Come on now. Jeez, Come on, guys. Like, I'm more, that, Al, yeah. Al's more of a book guy. Come on. <laughs> the book's always better. <laughs> but uh, yeah, go back and watch this movie if you guys haven't. Visually, it's fantastic. Of course, our homie. Uh, uh Timothy Chevrolet is in there. Chocolate, man. Yeah. Yeah. Salamale. Salamale. Yeah. But uh and also Oscar Isaac, um a bunch of people I can't name off the top of my head um are in Zendaya. this movie. Zendaya. Um, without spoiling too much, I'm really excited to see if Josh Brolin comes back in this movie, what his role will be. Mm. Uh, damn, I'm so excited for this. You guys on the pod all know that I really love the book dune and the first movie yeah so uh yeah i can't wait for this one man it's gonna be amazing so definitely cool. looking forward to lots of uh lots of good shit out there uh, maybe off the top of our head anybody want a lightning round throughout their 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 runner up i'm gonna say it right now blade marvel's gonna Ooh. do a blade i pray to god that it's good they got the bar set really high with the Wesley Snipes version. That's Do we all. know the actor who will be playing Blade yet? Mahershal, Mahershala Ali? Yeah. There we Dude, go. Great actor. Great choice for Blade. I mean, obviously, Wesley Snipes is uh, probably a little too old. They're going for you know, a, a reboot, and I think it's a perfect cast. They're like, game. Wesley, you're not supposed to age, man. <laughs> Dude, uh, for me, my runner-up would be the Dungeons & Dragons film starring Chris oh, Pine coming sure. out. I you know I just think it looks like it's gonna be a fun movie, man. I'm mean, I'm excited for it. Or they just made a really fucking good trailer, in which case, kudos yeah. marketing team. <laughs> looks good. <laughs> I agree. For myself, the Dave, you sent that trailer to us, but it's called Sixty Five, I believe. Oh uh, yeah, with the um, Adam Driver, and mm-hmm. they're trying to look for new lands and end up getting sent back to prehistoric times or a planet yeah, I don't know. just behind the times, but. <sighs> Essentially, Jurassic Park sci-fi edition. It looks really good and intense. Just kind of a turn your brain off and enjoy dinosaurs and intense moments. So oh, really yeah. looking forward to that film. Dude, I, I almost took the trailer as that these are like humans that existed at that time and found a prehistoric Earth. 
but I guess that's we'll, what I was. Uh, we'll see what happens, man. Yeah, I was curious about that too. It does look dope, though, for sure. Mm-hmm. I I love everything Adam Driver does. He's a great actor, so I'll check it out just for that reason. Yeah. Um, I know we were just speaking a friend of the pod, but I believe Wonka comes out in 2023 and i am curious to see what that's going to be like if it's serious it almost seems like they might go kind of a darker serious route with it so that would be cool but um yeah i'm just interested to see where they take that i I mean i wasn't a big fan of the reboot with johnny depp and stuff so who knows if i like this or not but seems interesting timothy shamalama ling dong is in that right (laughs) yeah that's right very very low bar to beat the last wonka movie for real for real but also, is that Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle movie coming out in 2023? Dude, I want to yeah, change dude. my answer it's to Teenage year, Mutant. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> is that the, the Seth Rogen one? Yeah, the Seth Rogen what? one. What? Yeah. There's a lot of people in that one, man. So Damn. it'll be interesting to see what they did with it. All right, my friends. Well, those were some uh, solid 23, 2023 anticipated movies. But uh, until next time. Later days. Have a good one, everybody. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> yep. Hope you, guys, out. Ho- hope you guys enjoy that. Hit that fucking subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. If anybody does watch that video, we're getting called out for those salutes. We're so <laughs> stupid. <laughs>